Hello everyone, this is Julian Train K 2020 World Reduction Sphere, and today I'm going to teach you how to download East Coast Trains 260 Moguls when installing the content manager for trains. First, what you want to do is go to your internet browser, in this case Google Chrome, and search for the Wayback Machine. And here I have um, a date set for EastCoastTrains.com. I'll leave a link in the description for you to check out the website. Then go to 2010 and choose any given snapshot and wait for the website to load then go to motive power steam power and here you'll find the 260 moguls and here they are solo blue 293 Tennis River Railroad number 2 number 3 Tidewater Point number 260 and Highland Valley Railroad number 12 now I've already installed, well not technically I have, I had to reinstall Train 2008. I downloaded all, downloaded all these models, but I'll just download them again for the sake of this video. So, we'll just open a new link, and then wait for it to download. And the CD finished installing. So we'll just drag it into the content manager. View a main list. Commit. And then you'll notice that the engine and tender have missing dependencies. And if I just try and drag in the content manager and download the dependencies from the download station, it won't work. So what do you do? Don't worry. What you want to do, first let's start with finding the dependencies. Finding the dependencies for the tender. I'm sorry, I can't speak tonight. So what you want to do is right-click on the asset, click View Dependencies, and you'll notice this dependency here. Right-click, copy, then go to this website called trainsland.ru slash kuid. And it's a very nice site for finding those dependencies that may or may not be on a download station. Then here where it says write a request. Control V, get rid of the unknown location, and click search, and then we'll find our first dependency. An air hose for the tender. Click I agree and download, and wait for it to download and drag into the content manager. Then commit. And there we go. The tender's fixed. Now we have to fix the engine. Click the few dependencies, and you'll notice that the engine has three missing dependencies. We'll do the same thing as the ten for the tender. I believe all these fluids are um, supposed to be um, dependencies from Prowler, Prowler 901's models. Well, it's like that. That's for the steam texture. Commit. Find the second missing dependency. Paste. Remove. Search. Download. Commit. And now there's only one missing dependency left. Also, you'll notice that the K27 engine spec faulty, but I'll get to that later. And we found all the missing dependencies, but now our engine's faulty because it has a, it has a faulty dependency. K27 K27 engine spec, and you'll notice that when you click view errors, it says F brakes is not a valid um. I don't know what it says because this is in another language. So right click, go to edit, edit in Explorer, click on a config file, config config.txt. 
then highlight app breaks in the one. Oh, not full size. Then delete. Control S to save. Then commit. And there you go. You've officially fixed Solo Boot 293. Now to install the other models. Also, all these other models have the same dependencies, so don't worry about downloading the extra dependencies. So yeah, all the rest left to do now is test the models in your version of trains, and yeah! I'm gonna start train doesn't eight, and just wait for the load. <laughs> train doesn't eight away is the wackiest intro. So, go into Railyard, or Depot, because this is another language as I just made, made, mentioned before. Scroll down till you find your locomotives. All right, there's Highland Valley Railway number twelve, <coughs> along with its tender. Solo Boo 293. It's tender. Tenney's River Railroad number two. Tenney's River Railroad number two is tender. Tenney's River Railroad number three. It's tender. And of course, Tidewater Point number 260. And it's tender. So there you go. That's how you can install East Coast trains as moguls and fix them to work in trains. I hope this tutorial helped you, and as always, thank you for watching.